calls are growing louder for Democrats and Republicans to come back to work here at the state house and pass tax relief. Democratic candidate for governor Maura Healey says she's going to make it a top priority. Democratic candidate for governor Maura Healey calling on state lawmakers to come back from break and pass tax relief. People need relief now, so I really urge the legislature to come back and get this done and get this tax relief provided to families. Lawmakers failed to pass $1 billion in tax breaks and permanent tax changes before the end of session. The House Speaker says plans changed because of a 1986 law set to trigger billions in rebates. He says they're being fiscally prudent, adding, it's important to note that we already have approximately $3 billion worth of tax relief that's expected to take effect in Massachusetts by the end of this year. The state is in a good financial position. That said, I understand the concerns about wanting to make sure that we take the right steps. But what I am telling you is that people can't wait. People have been overtaxed. They should return the money to the people ASAP. Republican candidate for governor Jeff Deal says he's glad the 1986 law will give taxpayers something. Beacon Hill had their opportunity to return money back to the people on their own terms. They chose not to. I'm really glad this trigger is in place. It seems like there's such a reluctance to give tax relief. Republican candidate Chris Doty says the state can afford to pass tax relief and give out the rebates. There are 35 states that have gone ahead of us that have already given tax relief. Now, Senate President Karen Spilka says, I strongly believe that we could have done and still must do permanent tax relief for our residents. I'm very disappointed the agreement was not reached to move forward with consideration to the 1986 law so that our progressive tax relief package, which passed unanimously in the Senate and targeted relief to seniors, renters and low income families, could also move forward. Now, the House Speaker hasn't ruled out taking some steps during informal sessions, but it's unclear if tax relief will be among them. We're live here at the State House, Charmin Sakedi, WCVB News Center 5.